It's time for season two of the Roma career mode. Let's get it. I think season one, we exceeded everybody's expectations. We actually won the Serie A and we did so with all those transfer rules spending just 30 million maximum on a single player. Yet we did it. Not just that, we also won the Europa League in the most dramatic of fashions. Yep, that first season was special and I think we're ready for bigger and better things. And you know what I mean by bigger and better? It's the Champions League. This season, we may have an outside chance of winning the Champions League. We're champions of Italy, man. We need to go for it. Looks like the border backing us as well. 107 million to spend this season. We've got a much better team than what we started with last season. I'm ready for the challenge this season. If you guys are excited for a brand new season of the Roma career mode, I need to see your support. Drop a like in the video. Subscribe if you're new around here. Let's go. Okay, I think you guys do need a bit of a refresher. The squad we're working with this season. Dami Abraham delete the line. No reason for that to change. He was superb last season. And I think he's going to continue doing that. Paolo Dybala. I've sung his praises for so long in career mode. He was absolutely insane for us. Mikel Damsgaard. He's joined Brentford in real life, if I think. Yep. Would you look at that? The signing is confirmed. Mikel Damsgaard to Brentford. A permanent deal from Sampdoria. Wow. Okay. We might need to figure out what needs to be done about this. Midfield is where I think this season we need to change up. Wijnaldum, as good as he is. I don't know. I think I would want a CDM upgrade. That's what I'm thinking right now, but we'll see. Pellegrini is, is unreal. Apparently, he's the captain of Roma in real life. So, well, makes sense to make him our captain as well. So, there you go. Pellegrini captaining the team. I love Madueke. He is unreal in that right wing position. No problem. So far, Damsgaard and Wijnaldum giving me a bit of an iffy. We'll see. At the back, though, this back line is amazing. Although, I think a bit of squad depth wouldn't really hurt us in that center back position. So, left wing, CDM center back is what we're looking at possibly goalkeeper as well but from what i saw hugo Lloris, i think it still give us another solid season remember guys as i just said we're working with about 107 million we've got to pick and choose our battles if we look to sign a new keeper and he's 86 rated he'll probably cost 80 70 million and we won't have money to spend elsewhere so as i said we got to pick our battles i think cdm is the most important and seeing what needs to be done with damsgaard possibly a center back too so we'll figure things out let me know if you have any transfer suggestions. I'm excited for the new season. Time to get into a press conference. Sid, remember earlier in this series, you said extra 10 million would be added if Roma secure Champions League qualification. So you should be able to spend 70 million on a player. Okay, let's put it out there. How much can we spend on a single player this season? So of course, the base value is 30 million. But since we won the Coppa Italia and of course the Europa League, we get plus 10 for each. So now we can spend 50 million. I don't know why I said 10. But yeah, we can spend 50 million on a on a single player but then because we secure champions league qualification because we won the Serie A that's a plus 20 so this season we can bring out the checkbook boys and we can spend 70 million on signing a single player so expect to see maybe some big boy signings happening at Roma so yes boys limitations are kind of off the hook although a lot of like top class players cost more than 70 we still need to be smart with how much we can spend okay so this one we talked about briefly Brent could have signed Damsgaard in Great Life so you can look to replace him to make it more realistic. Now, why I think we shouldn't be required to do this is because he was at Sampdoria when we signed him. In Great Life, a different club signed him. So I'm kind of unsure if we should be selling Damsgaard because I think he's kind of become iconic. He's a player we've never used before and I want to continue use him and continue that story. Like, honestly, man, we signed him when he was 77 rated and now he's 83. Nah, dude, I don't want to sell Damsgaard. I just don't feel the vibes. Like, I think he needs to be part of this team. Yeah, him and Madueke, I love having down the wings. Kind of like Roma signings, I would say. I want to keep them. And you know what? I want to keep them so much that I'm going to give Mikel Damsgaard a brand new contract right now. So, yep, all the rumors about him potentially being sold, well, you can shut them down because we're giving Mikel Damsgaard a brand new contract with a one-year extension as well. That's perfect. Although, I don't think this career mode's going to last another five seasons. I think we'll need to give him like 80,000 per week, like a much better contract. That should be good money for him. And it is. We've renewed his offer. And well, he's going to stay with us. Last press conference question. Signed Thomas Suchek as a replacement for Wijnaldum. Great defensively and might be in your budget. Not a bad idea. All right. Let's see what Thomas Suchek is all about. I remember I used him in my FIFA 21 West Ham career mode. Boy, he was insane. What a CDM. 83 rated. Ooh. Oh, no, 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 guys. No. Look at that pace. Why is he so bad on FIFA 20? 
22, 57 acceleration, and 63 sprint speed. Now, if he had a higher rating and that pace, he could still be usable because he would be like OP in game and help us in simulations. But nah, with that pace, I'm, I'm terrified of using him. We'll figure out another CDM we, we need to sign. Don't you worry. Before we move any further, time to honor our best player from last season. And I don't think anyone is surprised. 50 gold contributions in total. Paolo Dybala. Bro, I'm recording this video as Brentford are beating Man United 2 and I know it's only the 26th minute, but guys, I might need to do another fixing video on Man United. Boy, are they awful. Anyways, that was out of topic. Let's get back to the Roma career mode. All right, for starters, this season, as I said, a new CDM is something we need to pull off. And for that, I'm going to transfer this Wijnaldum. We need to get the maximum amount of money we can get for him. I'm right now in generating funds mode. We can spend 70 million on a single player, but for that, we need money. Players like everyone in here, I think I can probably sell. Who is this guy? Villa, 77 rated, 24 years old. What? Who on earth is he? Yo, he looks good, man. He looks really good. We'll put him on a solid development plan. That means we can probably sell Pjanic as well and generate about 20 million from him. Let's go, because I can use Villa as backup. He looks good. Also, I think I could sell El Shirawi as well, because look at this. Justin Kloivert is back from his loan spell. We'll chuck in a good contract for him. Boom, he's now playing for us. We'll make him a left winger. That's that sort, and I'm trying to sell as many players as I possibly can, because we need to. This Reynolds guy can go on the transfer list. Florenzi can be put on the transfer list as well. How much money are we going to be rolling with once we're done with this club clear out? I think we'll be upwards of 160, 170 million, and that could be crucial to everything we want to do. Remember, we're going for the Champions League this season one way or the other. Oh, by the way, the FIFA 23 mod is just not working, so I can't get the Roma badge in-game, but the kits are working, so I've got the kits. I just had an idea, you know, someone like Casemiro at Roma would be insane, but I just saw his value. It's 86 million. We can only spend 70 maximum. That's what I'm saying. We still can't sign the superstars because we're just not allowed to. Okay, I may have found the perfect player for this series. Sergei Milinkovic Savage. He's valued at 61.5 million. I think he'd be the perfect CDM for us, but can we sign him? I don't think so. I think we'll have to try every trick in the book, but he just might be the CDM we need. Oh my god, 85 rated. We can't use a swap deal or anything. We just need to be unbelievable at negotiating. So I'm going to start at 59 million and hope for the best. What are they going to counter? What? They've accepted. This contract wasn't even expiring. Let's go. Let's go. For, for 60 million, we're getting that CDM. We're going to probably sell Wijnaldum. I love it. He knows the Serie This seems like a very, very smart signing. I'm up for it. I'm absolutely up for it. That is literally one of the weakest positions in our team. I know Wijnaldum's decent, but he's aging. Millie Savage is a massive upgrade if we can convert him to a CDM. We did it with Wijnaldum, so I don't think why it wouldn't be possible with Millie Savage. This is a huge signing. He wants a crucial squad role. Who is surprised at that? Perfect. Let's get him on like a four-year deal, which he should accept. Awesome, awesome. Let's keep it going. No release clause. Perfect, though. And these are his demands. We'll remove that appearance bonus. The rest of it looks fine. And it is fine. Millie Savage signed by Roma. That's what's up. That is what's up. We've just made a tremendous signing. There you go, boys. There he is. Sergei Milinkovic Savage. Let's chuck him onto the team instead of Wijnaldum. Now we're talking. Look at his stats. That's a signing. That is a signing and a half. I'll, I'll tell you that. Would you look at that? There you go. New signing on field. Um, Sergei Milinkovic Savage is a Roma player. I'm thinking instead of converting him to like a CDM, we just play him in here. He, he should still do a good job. Maybe I'll put him on a development plan, but it might take a while. Let's actually see how long will it take to convert Millie Savage to a CDM. Oh, come on. This FIFA 23 mod I use, man, it's kind of broken a few players. Like, I just can't use development plans in him. And I don't know why. Uh, you know what, guys? This is so frustrating. I'm just gonna use the cheat engine and make Millie Savage a CDM. I think that shouldn't be a problem. Boys, for some reason, the cheat engine ain't working, so we'll keep Millie Savage there, but next episode, we'll have him convert it to a CDM. No issues. Boys, boys, this could be game-changing in this series. Real Madrid want to sign Paolo Dybala for 172.5 million. Are you kidding me? That is game-changing money. Oh my god. I don't think we got. We should say no to this. Oh my god, I'm confused. This could change the direction this series goes. 172 million for Paolo Dybala? Are you kidding? Oh my. Oh my god. That is insane money. Now, don't get me wrong. Dybala was a god for us last season, but 172 
million. We could possibly negotiate for more. And with that money, we could make two or three more good signings. I think it's a no-brainer. I think it's a no-brainer, but I'm still... Oh, my God. What has just happened here? This has come out of nowhere. Bro, I, I feel like... Let's just negotiate with Madrid and see what they say. In this Roma series, we've gone by the formula of one player does not define the team. And that's why we've made multiple different signings. Getting this much money for a single player could be game-changing. If they're willing to pay me two... 110 million for Dybala. I think I'm willing to say goodbye. What are they gonna say? Th they said yes? Bro, no, no, no. I thought they were gonna counter. 210 million for Dybala. I don't even know if I wanna sell him. No. Oh my god. I think it's going through. Paolo Dybala is gonna get sold. Unbelievable. Un freaking believable. We're gonna sell Dybala for 210 million to Real Madrid. It's probably the most realistic thing that could happen in this series. He joins Roma, achieves success, guides them to the Serie A, and he wants to join Real Madrid to achieve more. It makes perfect sense, but now what do we do? We'll need to sign a new cam as well. Well, we're not selling Damsgaard, that's for sure now. We'll need a new cam. We've got more money to improve the team even more. Bro, this series has now just taken a unbelievable turn as we now now get an offer for Ginny Wijnaldum, which I'm going to delegate and try and get the maximum amount of money as possible. We could end this episode with like 300 million. He's been sold. I, I, I'm in disbelief right now. He's been sold. He's been sold. Paolo Dybala has been, has been sold to Real Madrid. Can't believe this. I legit can't believe this. I don't know if I've done the right thing or not. I don't know if I've done the right thing or not. But Paolo Dybala, no. 210 million. He's being paid 320,000 per week. Can Roma cope without Dybala? We achieved so much success this season, but now we're gonna have to do it all without Paolo Dybala because he's joined Real Madrid. That's well, that's the storyline for the series confirmed. It's an unbelievable challenge we've got. Even Napoli won a piece of Wijnaldum. What is going on in this window? At this point, we're literally just raising as much money as we can. 240 million is the transfer budget we've got right now. Okay, what just happened? Okay, Wijnaldum's move is broken down. Oh, an El Shirawi transfer offer. I'm gonna sell him as well. If you're wondering, why am I selling all these players. We've got backup options, so it's fine. Wijnaldum has been sold. This is not. This is getting out of hand right now. This is actually getting out of hand. Wijnaldum has been sold. El Chirawi has been sold. We're still looking to sell Florenzi as well. What the hell is even going on? Okay, guys, after selling everyone, we're now sitting on a transfer budget of 290 million. This is unreal. Honestly, I don't know what to do with the camp position for now. Like, I think for now, Pellegrini's gonna play camp. We'll have Douglas Luiz and Mili Savage. That's probably how I'm gonna run until we figure out who is the replacement we need to bring in for Paolo Dybala. But this has now opened up a whole host of opportunities for us because we now need more than just a centre-back. We've got the money to sign a insane cam, probably an insane defender and maybe even a world-class keeper because already Hugo Lloris has gone down by one. Guys, I need your help in the comments because now things are different. Dybala's gone. I used him way too much anyway in recent career modes. It's time to look for a new legend. For now, Let's take a break from all the transfers and go out there and win the Italian Super Cup. As I said, this is how I'm going to line things up. But we have a bit of an issue. We also are playing the UEFA Super Cup against Manchester United in this episode. So we can actually win two trophies. So let's get it. I might use my second team-ish for this one. First team for the Man United game. Probably should go for another centre-back signing. Okay, for now, we'll just keep the squad like this. But I do want to start Milly Savage to give him his debut. Douglas Luiz as well. Actually, we'll play Olise at Cal for this one. I want to see what Justin Kloivert is all about, so we'll play him there. Damsgaard's in insane form these days, so we'll play Kloivert on that right side. Uh, Belotti can start as well. Yeah, and I think car stop as well. So that's the team I'm going to be running in this Super Cup. This should be a routine win because Leke can't compete with us. Bro, I don't know how on earth has this career mode taken such a U-turn with Dybala being sold, but that offer from Madrid, I don't think it was one we could say no to. That kind of money is going to help us improve four or five different positions this season and we should be ready for the Champions League as Kluivert has just fought through completely and he scored. What? What was that? How did Kluivert just walk through? What just happened there? Justin Kluivert back at Roma. Maybe we've got a new superstar on our hands because he just walked through the entire defense. Look at that. He just fought through. It wasn't even great dribbling. It was just who wanted it more. Kluivert did and bang he got the goal. Here's Olise. Well he's got an opportunity in the absence of Dybala. What can he do here? Olise? Well, those were the most pointless step-overs I've seen. He ended up just using his pace 
Finds Kluivert, looking for a ball inside. Oh, Bellotti. No, it was Damsgaard, actually. I thought we should have scored that. Now looking for Millie Savage in his first game in a Roma shirt, and he almost just scored that. I think he's going to be a great signing for us, man. Lise taking corners as well. Well, that didn't result in anything. Damsgaard, though, has it. Mancini back for Damsgaard. We could do something here. Yeah, Damsgaard does really well there. We're going to play it back in. Does so. Bellotti controls it. Ah, uh, scuffs his shot. Bellotti. He was the one who helped us win the Italian Cup. And he's now trying to help us win the Super Cup. Not with shots like that. Bellotti's doing well. He's gone through. He's gone through like that. There gets Bellotti his goal. Roma 2. Lecce 0. I'm sorry, man. This Super Cup is looking like it's done. 2-0. I don't think they're making a comeback, boys. Come on. Bro, we could legit win two trophies in this episode, but I still feel like we're taking the L because the ball is gone. Here we go. Olise, he's got a chance to score as well, and bang, it's 3-0. Olise is making a name for himself in the absence of Paolo Dybala. That's what we like to see. 3-0 up in this Italian Super Cup. Even without Dybala, I think we're a formidable team and it shows. I think what I'm going to do now is for the rest of this game, going to put Pjanic in the lineup. Going to put, say, Chris Smalling as well. Let's rest up a few players and, of course, jump to save. Making change in the first half, uncommon, but I think it's smart to do that. So we just get that dub. The Italian Super Cup has been secured. Honestly, guys, I feel like we should go ahead and sign a centre-back right now. That's one of the positions. I think we need to improve. Also, goalkeeper. We could do one of them, you know. Goalkeeper is sent back in this episode and keep the rest for the next one. We've got 290 million. That basically allows us 470 million signings. I think we should get to work. For goalkeeper, I do have an idea. It's a former Roma goalkeeper. How do I spell his name? Okay, this is Wojciech Szczesny. That's that's what I'm thinking for, a, for, for the goalkeeper position. He's 86 rated. We should get him for good value. That should solve our keeper problem. Loris goes down to 83 over the course of the season. No problem. Chesney is still going to be 86. I think we bring him back to Roma. Bro, he's only going to cost us between 40 and 57 million. This is a no-brainer. Let's get this done. We can give him his debut in the UEFA Super Cup. I like it. Now that we've got the cash injection from Dybala, we don't need to worry about positions. We can sign pretty much players in any position we want. Not an issue at all. 35 million is what I'll go with for Chesney. They want cast. I'd rather keep him for squad depth, to be honest. We could put cast up in this swap deal. Ah, uh, now we can't. I was thinking maybe then we could even improve our right back position, you know? But anyways, let's just chuck in about 37.8 million for Chesney. They want 50. We will negotiate and bring this down. Not, not an issue. Not an issue at all. 40 million for Chesney and that works. That should solve our goalkeeper problem. To be honest, we don't really have a goalkeeper problem because Loris is insane, but I'm just worried about his rating. Chesney solves that and with the money we've got, it makes sense to do so. Two-year deal for Wojciech Chesney. Contract seems very reasonable. We'll submit off we want a bit more on the wages, but that's fine. That is our second signing of this window. We're continuing with the theme of making a lot of signings in this series. And that continues with Chesney. Okay, we can now finally have uh, Wojciech Chesney in as a starting 11. There you go. That's probably how the team is going to look like. We still need to figure out who we're signing for that cam spot. We still need to figure out do we need a big improvement in the centre-back position or maybe even right back. So all that's sort of stuff needs figuring out. For now, though, I want to play the Super Cup final. How on earth did Manchester United manage to win the Champions League? But anyways, this is how I think I'm going to start. We're going to give Millie Savage another game to just get used to things. Chesney, his debut. Look at that. Man United with their new kits and everything. We've got Ronaldo, Sancho, the starting Van de Beek and Eriksen in midfield. The defense looks awful. How did they win the Champions League? I still can't fathom. But let's put our new signings to test. Can we beat a team like Man United who won the Champions the, this would be a big opportunity. <laughs> Oh no, oh no, we almost just conceded the first goal of this game. Oh my god, what is that? What? Chesney, we just signed you and you do that. No wonder you didn't make it at Arsenal. What was that? Why is Scott McTominay celebrating? Chesney should be celebrating, dude. What have we just conceded? This is why I legit can't wait for next-gen FIFA and PC, man. This kind of stupid stuff doesn't happen there. <sighs> now we're in the back foot. No Dybala. How do we tackle this? Sancho. Looking for another ball. Ronaldo. This is not good news. Van der Beek. Survive, boys. Survive. Chesney. This star makes a good save. We've got Damsgaard. Well, he stopped his run for some reason. And Spinelo's... 
I just messed up his name. I was calling Spinaloza. But anyways, whatever his name is, he needs to bring the ball forward. But he couldn't. Eli Savic looking for Tammy Abraham. I'm really missing Dybala in that spot. As good as Pellegrini is, he's not really a natural cam. Madueke now on the attack. We could do something. Tammy Abraham's header. It's a banging header, but saved by De Gea somehow. That was the chance. I'm liking this. I'm liking this. Damsgaard's chance. If he can open up his body, he can't. Two chances and we couldn't score both times. This is a bit of a reality check. Are we even ready for Champions League at this rate? Oh, this is bad. Cristiano Ronaldo, it's 2-0 Manchester United. We could be getting a big reality check. Can we even compete? For the Champions League this season. No Dybala and we've lost the focal point of our team. How on earth are we going to manage to replace that? Tammy, that's great hold up play from him. As he could see Damsgaard and I think he's kept himself on. This is a proper big chance for us. Mikel Damsgaard opens up his body but he didn't. Why not take the shot with your right foot dude? That was a nail. We've had the chances actually to score. We've just not taken him. Looking for Millie Savage. Oh, he brings it in. So I don't know. He had that in his locker. That was interesting. But what's the point, man? Right now. Oh, oh, what's this chaos? De Gea trying to give Chesney a bit of competition with the silly mistakes. And that could lead to a chance. Out wide for Damsgaard. Inside for Tammy Abraham, who's done really well. Ah, but we, we still have it. We still have it. But nothing is coming good of it. I need that run. Chelik has made the run. Cut back inside. What are we doing? Now looking for Madueke. Come on, this could be a chance. Inside for Tammy Abraham. Scoffed it. Completely scoffed it. Mini Savage. I think he's been one of the best performers on this pitch right now. Looking now for Madueke. Looking to use that pace. Does so successfully. Options are opening up. Pellegrini gets that shot. And that's a banger from Pellegrini. We've got one goal back. Nine minutes. Can we somehow salvage something from this? Oh, no. Asensio out wide. No, that was a bad one. They're going to score. Spinozola saved us there and we needed that just two minutes. This could be the last attack, but we do that. Literally one minute left in this game. Damsgaard has to do everything possible to get the ball forward and create an attack. He's on the run here. Damsgaard looking to create something. Cut back possibly. No, it wasn't good enough. And that's full time. And we've lost the UEFA Super Cup. Guys, I think this is a massive wake-up call. We need to make more shinings. Otherwise, competing for the Champions League is going to be tough. Paolo Dybala has been sold. We're struggling to figure things out without him. We need to figure out what needs to be done in that cam position. And I need your guys' help. Who do we sign in that next episode? 250 million to spend. We're going to go crazy. I'll catch you all for the next episode. Peace.